Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss the topic is how to convert a PDF page to PDF and how can we add a watermark on PDF. And before we are going to start this, I want to give you a good news that is I have included our sample codes in our repository. You can find out our repository, Salesforce Tech, repost, Salesforce Tech Book repository okay, with this URL. Okay, I will include this URL in description also. Let's start our class. So how to convert a VF page to PDF? By using render as attribute, you can convert your VF page to PDF document. And if you see here, I include standard style sheets equals false. So whenever you want to apply your own styles or markup, you can use the standard style sheets to false. I recommend use this always when you want to VF page to when you want to convert a VF page to PDF document, then you have the flexibility to give your own markup. Okay, now let's see everything practically. So if you see here, I already designed a VF page. Okay, style sheets, false and controller retrieve contacts. What it do? It will retrieve the contacts that is 10 contacts and it display on visual force page by using a repeat. So why I am using repeat? Because if you use repeat, you can apply your own styles. Or if you use data table also, you can apply your own styles or CSS on your data table or repeat. It is easy. And if you see here, I am using normal data table, normal table only. It's a HTML table completely. And I'm using repeat to iterate through the list of contacts and displaying so let's see how it looks like so let's go to here this is my vf page that is pdf sample and if i open this this looks like this see here it's a normal page right now i didn't apply any css i didn't apply anything else okay for example if you do true here how it looks like let's see So I made standard style sheets true, how it looks like. So, see, this looks like this. So now, as I told you already, let's not have it as true. Let's make it false. Now I'm going to make it as a, or I'm going to convert this VF page as PDF. How can I convert? By using render as attribute. So let's do this. So if you see here, successfully converted. Let's try to do this. See, it converts to PDF. Now, I don't like this look and feel of this table. I want to convert or I want to apply my own CSS. So let me apply one by one. See here, I already prepared some styles. So for table, I'm applying this. So basically, when you are doing like this, you always, for every styles, for every change, you always need to check your PDF after saving the changes. Then you can have very good PDF with a good design. Because you can sense what kind of changes are applying, applying on your PDF. See, it looks like this now. Now apply all the styles. So let me take this also. And this one. I'm not doing anything else except applying the styles whatever I need so now I'm saving this let's see how it looks like
now it looks like good table i like this design okay now so with this what we know how to convert a vf page to pdf document and how can we apply our own styles okay now let's talk about watermark for that it's very simple first thing is you just have an image whatever you want to include as a watermark in a static resource so i already uploaded an image that is draft it looks like this okay i want to include this draft as a watermark what i have what i have to do now i just need to use a container so let's use a container now for this i can use background url as static resource see here and along with this you have to use no repeat then it will be one image only and it should be center and height all these things i am adding simply now see so here what i used background okay colon url of our static resources then it becomes a watermark on our pdf let's go this see here how it looks like see this is how you can add a watermark to pdf page so with this session what we learned how to convert a vf page to pdf document okay that is by using render as attribute and you have to give a value as pdf and how can you add a watermark on that pdf you can use a static resource which and you can use a container that is div you can make it as a background url then it automatically becomes a watermark of your pdf page so you can have a references here along with that as i told you we have our sample codes in our github repository please go through that also and i will include that in our session description please subscribe to salesforce tech book all the best